Yeah! Hey there, Lingo Kids. Today, we're going out into nature, to the desert, where it's very dry, Hi. hot, sunny, and sandy. What on earth could we possibly find here to draw? Here are some hints. It's a plant. It doesn't need much water to grow. Hello! Ouch! And it's prickly to touch. Aha! We're going to learn how to draw a cactus. Grab a sheet of paper and a pencil and let's get started. A cactus can have different shapes and they are all beautiful. For our cactus, we'll start by drawing the central trunk. Let's start with a tall pole shape like this. It should almost look like the shape of a finger. Draw two lines that go straight up and then connect them at the top with a curved line. There you go. That's a great start. Now you have the base for your cactus. Let's move on to the arms of our cactus. About halfway up the trunk, on the right side, we'll draw the first arm. Draw a pair of curved lines stretching out and then upwards to the right, like a backwards letter L. That's it. And just like with the trunk, you'll connect the two lines at the top with a curved line. Let's draw another arm on the left. On the left side, a little bit lower down the arm you've already drawn on the right, draw a pair of lines curving upwards. This arm should look like a normal letter L. It can also be a little bit shorter than the other one. Well done. You've just given your cactus two arms, but feel free to add as many as you want. One of the things that make a cactus so special and also a bit dangerous is their thorns. You have to be very careful not to touch them because they're super sharp. How many thorns do you want to draw on your cactus? I think we should draw at least eight. To draw a thorn, draw two short lines coming together at a point, like a lawn triangle. You can draw some thorns at the end of each arm of your cactus. Add some more on the top of the center part of the cactus too. One, two, three, as many as you like. Have you got at least eight? Great, we've got one last part to draw, Lingo Kids. A cactus is always growing taller, taller, and taller. That means we will see stretch marks on its body and arms. Let's draw them. This part is simple. Draw some short, straight lines up and down the body of your cactus. Now, do the same on the arms. It's better if we draw lots of short lines rather than just one long line. There's just one thing left to do, Lingo Kids. It's time to add some color. Now that we've drawn our cactus, let's use some color to bring it to life. For our cactus, we'll use green, dark green, brown, and tan. Hello. First, Color the body of your cactus so that it's green all over. Don't press down too hard as this is just a base color. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Use your dark green crayon to go over the stretch marks that you drew. Now they'll really stand out. Color in each of your thorns with the brown crayon. You can press more if you like to make them extra dark. Finally, with the tan crayon, we can draw a nice sandy background since our cactus lives in the desert. Below and behind your cactus, Shade the area lightly with the tan color. Now your cactus is happy in its natural home. Thanks for watching and drawing a lawn with us. Parents, your child did great. We'd love it if you'd share their artwork with us on social media for a chance to be featured on our channels. There's nothing better than seeing the art made 
by our Lingo Kids families around the world. Just tag us. See you next time.